Manhattan Democratic Congressman, member of the House Financial Services and Intelligence Committees, Jim Himes. Congressman, welcome. Hello, Mike. How do you assess Dr. Fauci's emails and look back at what the experts were telling us in the early stages of the pandemic? Yeah, I'm glad you asked, Mike. I, 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 I got to tell you, I'm so troubled by, in particular, the approach that Senator Cruz took in your last clip, where he said, oh, this is all part of a conspiracy. It involves Mark Zuckerberg and the media and stuff. Folks, 600,000 Americans are dead. And today, we are actually doing better than any country on the planet in terms of beating this thing, maybe other than Israel. That's both a horrid story and a great story, right? And the fact that Senator Cruz, and quite frankly, Claudia Tenney, chose to make this into a political thing. Look, here's the deal with Fauci. I sit on the Intelligence Committee, so I have a pretty good idea, mm -hmm. uh, probably better than most, about where this thing came from. Um, this was a novel coronavirus. The word novel means we've never seen it before. So, of course, Tony Fauci, who has spent decades, literally decades, in the service of his country, he didn't get everything right. Nobody got everything right. There was a little bit of confusion about the value of masks. We thought originally that maybe this thing spread by touching. Now we know we don't. So, of course, there's confusion. But to use Tony Fauci, who has decades of service to this country and has saved uncounted lives as a political tool to beat up on Democrats, frankly, is shameful. All right. To China's role, uh, here is former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo from Sunday Morning Futures, and I'll ask you to respond. We don't know precisely what was taking place there because the Chinese Communist Party is covering it up and won't let us know. But there are a lot of unanswered questions about what these activities were, why they were engaged with them, were they connected to their military in any way, and if, in fact, this leak came from that laboratory. As a member of the Intelligence Committee, what are your concerns about China? So I, I, I think Mike's right. I think, I think Mike said it, said it exactly right. I, I, I can tell you this. Um, the consensus is... Um, that this was not created in a lab. And I want to clear that up because Representative Tenney sort of uh, uh, obscured that a little bit. The consensus is that this was not created in a lab. Apparently, you can tell when that has happened, when we've messed around or somebody's messed around with the genetics. What we don't know and what the intelligence community is working very hard in the face of Chinese obstruction to figure out mm -hmm. is whether this, in fact, was something that, like so many viruses, came from a bat and went to a pig and did the wet market, or whether they were actually working some, on something in that lab in Wuhan and somebody got sick or it somehow escaped from that lab. So, again, no reason to politicize this because Tony Fauci doesn't know the answer, Joe Biden doesn't know the answer, Donald Trump doesn't know the answer. We're still working on figuring that out in the context of the Chinese doing what they usually do, which is, you know, making it pretty hard to get at the facts. Uh, I want to squeeze one more in. Congressman, will China be held accountable? And how do you think they should be held accountable? Well, so first we need to know what the problem was, right? Uh, again, there's a lot of confidence that they didn't deliberately create this thing with some conspiracy, the way Senator Cruz would have you believe. But yeah, if they were incompetent and, it's, and, it, and it escaped from a lab, and we've got millions of people around the world dead, including 600,000 here in the United States, yeah, they got to be held accountable. So what does that mean? You know, we should press them if that, in fact, turns out to be the case. First of all, to set up safety procedures so that it never happens again. Right. But secondly, yeah, if they created this thing, it is on them to at least economically, at least economically really contribute to global, uh, global recovery. Congressman Jim Himes from the great state of Connecticut, thanks so much for your time, sir. Thank you, Mike.